Well, we here at NBC Bay Area, we're celebrating Hispanic heritage. It's a way to highlight the people and institutions that help create the diverse fabric of both the Bay Area and the nation. NBC's Damien Trujillo was given exclusive access to the West Wing for a discussion with the highest ranking Latina in the White House. Her family legacy is etched in American history. This is pretty amazing, huh? This is her office, the White House, a symbol of democracy recognized worldwide and the place where Julie Chavez Rodriguez spends most of her days. You know, it's a real honor and privilege to be able to walk through, um, well, drive through the gates of, of um, you know, the White House every day. This is Julie's um, second tour of duty in the West Wing. She previously served under President Obama as White House Director of Public Engagement. Now she's President Biden's Director of Intergovernmental Affairs, charged with making sure mayors, county leaders, and governors across the country get federal support during and after natural or man-made disasters. It's a deep-seated commitment to to real public service and to ensuring that um, you know we are kind of uh, living up to the responsibilities that we've been entrusted with um, as public servants. But this summer, Julie was given another duty: senior advisor to the President of the United States. You have the ability to say, "I'm sorry, Mr. President, I wouldn't do that if I were you." Um, that's an uh, it's an amazing ability to have. Well, yes. I mean, I think um, what we have been able to build, I think, in terms of a team here at the White House is a, um, a real strong group of, of senior leaders who, um, again, have an experience, um, both lived and, and professional, um, in order to really advise the president. Julie has a deep-rooted family history and service to others. A Cal graduate, Julie's grandfather, Cesar Chavez, built a legacy like no other. If it comes from the West Coast, we're boycotting it. As a man who dedicated his life to helping lift up and protect those whose daily work leaves dust on their faces and mud on their hands, the farm workers. He both a role model but also a hero. And I feel really fortunate to have had the opportunity to, you know, get to grow up with him and see him in action and, and you know, ride alongside him and, and march alongside him on so many ways. A bust of Cesar Chavez is now prominently displayed in the Oval Office. A reminder, says Julie, of the real reason White House staffers are there to serve others. Julie's dad is Arturo Rodriguez, the president emeritus of the United Farm Workers Union. And on Julie's desk in the West Wing is a picture of her late mother, Linda. Caesar's daughter. My mother sits on my desk um, and she's the first person that I bring into my office uh, no matter what office I occupy. Um, so I miss her dearly and um, I know that um, you know not a day goes by that um, that I don't feel her presence. I would not be here without her. Julie knows her name and family legacy come with a heavy weight. <laughs> continuing to carry a family legacy of service and advocacy for those who are so often overlooked. A Latina voice now advising the most powerful man in the world. But she is a Chavista, a woman who began speaking out against injustices at the tender age of five. Julie is home in the White House. She is at the table and proudly continuing her family's legacy of making this a better nation for all. At the White House, Damien Trujillo. NBC Bay Area News. See how emotional it is for her and for Damien as well. You can watch or DVR Damien's full interview from the White House. It airs this Saturday at 4 p.m. on our show called Comunidad del Valle.